Okay, so give it a nice whisk. Make sure you're getting all the honey off the bottom of the bowl, incorporating all of the fabulous flavors. We have something sweet, we have something salty, we have our aromatics in here, we have our spices in here, something acidic. The olive oil will lubricate the meat. And now we're gonna marinate our meat. We have our four to five pound second cut. You know that's what I prefer, brisket right here. Now I like to marinate in a sealable plastic bag. You of course have to have something that's like one and a half to two gallons that's large enough to hold your brisket. You can do this also in a glass dish. You wanna make sure you use a non-reactive dish because all the acid in the marinade can react with metal, so I prefer a glass dish. You also want something that's large enough to hold the meat in a single layer and something that's going to be easy to flip because we're going to flip the meat at least once in the fridge. Now remember I told you rest after you rub, that's the golden rule. It also applies to after you marinate. So at least one hour at room temperature before we start to brown this and then slow cook it, ideally 24 to 36 hours in the fridge, okay? We just keep repeating myself, hopefully you'll listen to what I'm saying. You'll remember it yourself. You won't even have to refer to these courses anymore. So we get our brisket into the bag. Nice big piece of holiday brisket. Flatten a single layer. We're going to, again, give our little whisk to the marinade because we don't want all that honey to sink to the bottom. And then immediately we're gonna pour this in. Yeah, baby. And that is what I'm talking about. Careful. You can even stand the bag a little upright if needed. All the precious marinade in. And now we seal. And then we'll flatten out the meat to make sure it's in a single layer and it's completely evenly coated. We don't want it folded over itself. Okay, so just checking the seal here. And then I'm gonna flatten out this brisket and make sure the marinade is evenly covering it. Now, you notice that I'm using a baking tray or a glass dish. The worst thing would be if this bag pierces in your fridge and then as much as we love the garlic honey marinade, we don't want it to wallpaper the shelves of our fridge. You know what I'm saying? So I always, when I'm marinating, put it in some kind of baking sheet or glass dish to make sure that you're protecting your fridge and the bag from any kind of spills. So I wanna put this in again, 24 to 36 hours. Halfway through, all you simply do is flip the meat at least once halfway through. Look, if you've got the time and you remember, you can set your timer and do it once or twice just to make sure that everything is getting a nice even coating. So it goes into the fridge and then we're gonna come back to it later and we're gonna brown before we braise because that's the next golden rule.